Hello guys, what is going on? Are you curious to see which are the best TFT comps in patch 10.24? You came to the right place. Hi, I'm Dr. Hades, I'm currently a TFT master player and I'm going for rank 1. The best composition probably in this patch and the most played of course is Zed Ninja Shade. Where you need of course Zed and then you go with his follow Shade Evelyn. Okay. And then you complete with some ninja and some assassins. So you could play Akali, Cannon, Pike, Shen, and Elise. So you can get free shade for ninja, two assassin, two keeper, and free cultist. So getting keeper would maintain your health more into the late game because you make sure your team is not dying so easily. You can also put cannon exactly near Zed to give him more shield. Of course Elise goes near but I think going here with Shen and Evelyn because Shen will after all get all the enemies to attack him you should focus the shield on Shen. With itemization, of course, rapid fire cannon, runes, hurricane, and quicksilver. This is what you need to do in order for your Z to become really good. And of course, if you get more uh, damage items, you should put them on Kane once you get it. Because I just uh, put here uh, for level 7, you will most probably go level 8, so you can put Kane in to get 4 shade, of course. And of course, you're gonna go with the support items on Akali, which can be Zeke's and Charlie's. And Locket, you can put it on Evelyn, it can give her damage and sustain in the same time and also give shield to everybody. So, Ninja Shade set is a very well played composition, try it out and I can assure you, you can win. You, If we talk about positioning, the most important thing is to... Uh, put your team in the back line just because Shen and Elise cannon will not jump so if they don't jump the enemies will come towards them and what this will do it's very simply it will leave their back line completely open and this is enough for Zed, Akali, Evelyn and Pike to clear the back line and after that only tanks will remain and maybe maybe a Yone but until then Zed will stock a lot and he will be really good make sure you try to freestar Zed for complete enormous damage for him he is very good just play him but make sure you're not very contested because it is pretty contested nowadays the second best team for patch 10.24 it's about divine yes they are back warwick is back and but it's a little bit of a twist because without perfect items on warwick you're not gonna win like uh, not uh, every item is good so quicksilver and rune hurricane it's a must but my third item i say it's a dead blade i'm talking about items first because if you don't have this item don't even think to play this comp because it is useless i'm kidding but quicksilver and rune and hurricane if you don't have them don't try to play divine maybe only if you have really good items for this sin but that's it Guys, it's really good composition, you have to play it, but make sure you can uh, build that items. What can I show you? You can build Runa's Hurricane on the start of the game, just because more champions can use them. So Runa's Hurricane is a good start, you can use it on Jinx, uh, or not on... You can use them on Vayne, you can use them on Jin afterwards, so it is no problem if you don't hit Warwick. So in this game, team you're gonna go 6 Divine, 3 Adept, 1 Exile, 2 Dazzler, 2 Dualist and 1 Ninja. And you're gonna have Irelia, Jax, Warwick, Lysian, Shen, Yoni, Lux and Ezreal. You play Lux and Ezreal just for Elderwood. Ezreal will give you help, more health and it will give you attack speed. Warwick will come with more attack speed and Yone will come with the shredding which will help Warwick to kill more so he can be give more attack speed to uh, the enemy team. So make sure you do this. As the positioning, I think Warwick should stay in front if you don't have a rapid fire cannon on him because he shouldn't lose time on walking towards the enemy, he should be near the enemies and make sure if the enemy has squishy 
uh, frontliner, make sure you position uh, hit your Warwick against that squishy because the first kill it's the hardest to get after that he will just start destroying the entire team just play this comp is very fun and you can erase the entire enemy team in just a few seconds it is very fun guys you have to try it and the last comp in my opinion you should play and it's my favorite it's my favorite to play is six dusk why six dusk because it's so nice it's so fun and you can even transition to cultist task or you can play dusk six task or cultist task it is very very good team and it's really hard to uh, not get top four with this team like once you get Jin, lilia raven zillin i think uh, it's like warranted top four so what do you need for this team is six task two mystic two sharpshooter two vanguard and three cultists if you don't get a chosen dusk, no problem, you can go with a spatula dusk item. But if you don't even get that, no problem, you can play 4 dusk and go for 6 cultists. And if that is not possible, just make sure you get a chin chosen or a raven keeper chosen. They are very good and they will help you win the game. What do you need for this team is Atrox, Riven, Cassiopeia, Zillion, Vayne, Trash, Lilia and Jin. Your main carry should be Riven and Jin and use Zillion as a main support. Make sure you keep Atrox very far away from Jin just because he will pull the enemies around Jin once he ults and this is very important to keep your Jin alive because trust me guys when he four shots he can one shot everybody and it's so fun to play I like it so much and if Jin gets killed by some miraculous then comes Riven and he kills everybody it is an amazing comp guys you have to play it make sure you play this comp because it is, is very very fun okay talking about itemization we talk about bramble vast and ionic spark one of the best items on riven and on Jean you go infinity edge garden engine and last whisper but of course you can go that blade you can also um, do hodge it is still good yeah, I think that this is the items, but sword items in principle for Jin because he is after all your main carry and he does AD damage. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know into the comment section which comp do you think is the best right now. And also make sure you share this video if you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, consider to become a member to get some benefits and support my channel. And until next time, play some more TFT. See ya!